there once again, people! You know how everyone will, like, make a modification and everyone else seems to make the exact same thing over and over and over? Well, here we are, with Radar! Yep, another Radar modification, exact same name and everything. Brilliant, huh? Yeah, th this is definitely will be interesting. We're gonna have two different versions of Radar! <laughs> um, anyway, this one's made by Nick Wilson, aka Nick Man. So, it's a totally different person, totally different version of Radar. Um, with the same exact result. Um, the other one was involved with Quake Map and all that. This, um, that one was also an individual mod, though, I should say. Um, that one was made by Francisco Ferreira, though. Um, let's see here. What exactly is the difference between these two? Um, he's playing on adding, like, a cool sonar ping. Anyone got it in the WAV file? But currently, he has no custom sound. That's interesting because Francisco Ferreira has had a custom sound, a custom radar beep. Um, it was nothing, really. It just was a little pop, as you just heard there. But it was something. It was actually, um, some sort of mechanic. Um, yeah. It's a very basic modification, so needless to say, it can't be too, too different. But yeah, this one doesn't have a custom sound. It's just gonna be a basic, whatever existed in the original game. Um, also, instead of using Impulse 100, this one uses Impulse 13 uh, to see enemies that you can't see. Uh, this will include invisible players, enemies behind walls, or out of your line of sight. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm also not really sure I'm seeing a way to turn it off. Yeah, that, that's an interesting one. We'll definitely see if there's a way to turn it off. Anyway, per use, it requires five cells. So maybe it's not a continuous usage one. Um, that one, you basically toggle on and off a of radar. This one, you're going to use five cells to basically get one ping, maybe. I don't know. Um, we'll see. But yeah, it seems like this one's a bit more um, limited than the other one was. So he's apparently made a bunch of different mods, um, such as uh, a bunch of different random stuff that I have never seen, such as torpedoes, harpoons, a freeze ray, a wave beam. How come I've never seen any of these? Um, he also did a hologram mod, which really is worthless because we've seen a million hologram mods. But other than that, that's basically that. Let's actually go this thing up and see what we basically already kind of seen already. Um, I said, I think this is like Impulse 13. Let's see here. I'm just going to try E1M1. I think that's what I use for the other one. So I'm going to use it here. Kind of give a good comparison. Give C5. Actually, let's give C200. Just in case you're like continually using or something. Bind H2 Impulse 13. That way we have the ability to track it. Radar. Detects monster army. That many units to your northeast. Ah, so this one doesn't actually have a sound. It basically plays a notification for you that tells you wh where the unit is, what the unit is, and where it's kind of located. So if I press it again, now it's saying it's to myself, directly to myself. So it's this many units to myself. That's where it was. And it's based on whatever the entity is. So as you see, it's calling it Monster Army, not Grunt. But that's simple and straightforward. And that basically would work with whatever, really. So say I did change level, uh, E2M sets. This is another good level for this because you press it here. Oh, look, it's a, a demon. And over here's an ogre. As you see, it basically tells you there was one to my northeast, one to my northwest, AKA right on the other side of this wall. And both were relatively close. They were 183 dot units away from me. Not too far away at all, and also kind of giving us an idea how um, many distance things are. If I stand right next to it, hi there! Surprisingly, it's not tracking the o fiend, it's tracking the ogre. Like I'm getting murdered by a fiend. Apparently, it doesn't track what's invisible. So if you can see the enemy, it doesn't track it. As you see, it's seeing it like 5,000 units away, not the ogre in front of my face. Yeah, that's an important lesson to learn. If you can see the enemy, it's not going to track it. It's looking for the first enemy that you cannot see. So say you have a bunch of enemies you're looking at, it will tell you what's as far away as like, as close as you can from there. You say I want to see the Hell Knight, you can see a Hell Knight. 
But yeah, simple, straightforward, and it works. And very, very different from the other radar mod. Um, like I said, it's like the other one you'd hear like a slight popping sound and like try and follow it to this one. This one's kind of useful in a different way because this one kind of is like it tells you what exactly you're like looking at. Um, and it also kind of gives you an idea of what it is. It kind of blocks out anything that you're not seeing so that we don't have to like have that thing that's literally right in front of your face doing the radar. Um, at the end of the day, neither one I really care about because I don't really need radar. I don't really like radar. I don't like the idea of it. But if I had to go with a radar mod, I think I prefer this. The other one has a little fancy um, sound file, but the sound file was kind of garbage anyway. It was just a little popping sound. So needless to say, I'm not really losing much by going to this one. Except that this one's less overpowered because it requires um, cells to use. And you can only really use it once. So it's almost like some sort of like a tracker. You're almost like hunting the enemy. It feels like one of those like games like Deer Hunter or something like that. It's up the hunt. You're not hunting a deer. You're hunting a shambler. I'm seeking shamblers. Wait a minute. I can seek shamblers now with this. <laughs> what do you know, people? I have found the ultimate device to seek shamblers what we have been trying to do since day one of this thing right yeah totally now we just gotta find a shambler can we find one let's see if one is here i think one is here they say one was here let's see if we find a shambler look at that 319 units to our north north we head north we might find a shambler wait a minute where is he oh god Oh God! Run for your life! Run for your life, dear God! That's a shambler. Taking shamblers. I think we found the shambler, everybody. I can't track when I'm dead. I can't seek the shambler anymore. Okay, let's see. Uh, why do I keep going into him since? I need a level with more shamblers in it. I need to seek more shamblers. Seeking shamblers, yes, it's totally it. Has anyone seen any shamblers? I'm trying to find a shambler. I'm not doing too good at finding shamblers. Okay, so we're going around. We gotta find some more shamblers. Impulse nine it, and now that way we get the ability to find a scrag. Seeking scrags? I don't think we're seeking scrags. We're seeking shamblers here. We gotta find that chamber. Okay, that's a demon. I don't care about demons. Who cares about a freaking demon? Die! Ow! Uh, has anyone seen a a shambler? I'm looking for a shambler. Uh, where's the shambler when you need one? I'm looking everywhere and I can't find the shambler. Oh god! Demon. Why do they keep spamming me with all these demon messages? Knight. Knight. Where's the knight? See, every time I think I'm getting closer, then they all of a sudden turn out to not be any closer. We need to kill more stuff. Dear God. This track is not really helping me, is it? Monster demon. My northwest. Yeah, it says it's right about here. Aha! You see, you open this up, you find the thing. Now what? To a northwest of 3,700 units here. Wait, what? We hit, keep heading this way, we'll find them. Wait, he's up there. Yeah. Uh, it's basically sending me to track that. I don't care about you. I care about a shambler. Can someone give me a shambler? Does anyone see any shamblers? I'm seeking them. I can't find them. No, no that's knights. That way just has knights. Garbage knights. This way has demons. Okay, let's let's use this pentagram. Do some reckless stuff. We need to murder some things. That way I can actually seek right. So far, I'm not really finding any shamblers. I thought this was a shamble based level. Let's see, let's head up here. 
keep murdering stuff. The more we murder, the better. Just gonna keep shooting straight and direct into things. Let's see here, we wanna just keep blowing up stuff left and right. Another fiend. Another fiend around that corner. That night. And guide? Fiend? Mr. Fiend? The night somewhere. My northwest. At least if I kill all these guys, it should be a lot less of a pain in the butt. Now, I can find another fiend. Wait, what? That didn't help me at all. Never seen a fiend there to talk about. Hell Knight. Southwest. To my west? Wait a minute, that's a shambler! This thing didn't help me at all! Bloody device! You were supposed to help me! Run for your life! There's a shambler! Oh my god, they're running! They're coming after me! Run for your life! Shambler! Now we're telling me there's shambler's on the map! Run for your life! There's shambler's after me! Curious horror story ever. Seeking shambler's. But not finding any. No, all you find in this is certain death. Anyway, that was Seeking Shamblers in a Marvelous Monstrosities episode. Thank you all for watching. I don't know what I'm doing in my life, and I shall see you all next time.